Today we are diving into the rapid changes that are shaping the meat processing. With me is Leigh Gommers, who is a farmer's son, but also has been working with automation for almost 40 years, optimizing efficiency in the toughest food production environments. Leigh, great to have you. Thank you. It's nice to uh, talk about uh, how not to go bankrupt in the next 10 years. That, that sounds good, yeah. So uh, you've been uh, in this space for four decades, actually. And what, what keeps you so passionate about automation? Uh, first, I was uh, a farmer's son. So I grew up with hard work and, uh, and, and, and practical thinking. Um, when I started, indeed, nearly 40 years ago in automation and drives, it was a very simple technology. PWM systems, PEM systems, which uh, had to be controlled by external devices. But nowadays, these uh, drives, they are so sophisticated, they can act as PLC, they can connect with every PLC, they can improve safety, efficiency. So there's so much you can do with that technology nowadays. Uh, but in the meat industry, where we talk about uh, conditions are extremely tough. That means very wet, cold, uh, high humidity, aggressive uh, cleaning, chemicals. Uh, that makes it very challenging and also interesting. One of the things is that things have to go faster and faster and faster because more and more chickens or pork or whatever you are processing has to go through the line. And that means that speed and efficiency are becoming extremely difficult in that harsh environment. Some say uh, we have been operating in this way for, for a long time. So why change now? Uh, what is the issue with this perspective? Uh, that's what a lot of smaller processing uh, companies thought. Uh, but they see now that they are losing contracts and falling behind. Of course, there are three really big issues at the moment, which they have to uh, handle. One is the labor shortages. Nobody wants to work in a wet, cold environment, multi-shifts per day, which is very challenging and it's very difficult to get people to do that kind of work. Mm -hmm. uh, energy. Energy is uh, expensive, especially the cooling part uh, of, the, of the plant, which eats up a big, a big part of the energy bill. Uh, and things have to go faster. Uh, the, especially when you look in the, in the, in the chicken slaughtery lines, the product which comes in is varying quite a lot. That means that the production lines have to adapt fast to other material. Mm -hmm. If they don't, then they have uh, a problem with the, with the, with the, with the performance of the machines. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so what happens if companies delay in investing in automation? Well, they'll fall behind fast. That's one of the things. They will lose contracts because they will not have the best performance. One of the performance indicators in the meat industry is the yield. Mm -hmm. And that is an indicator how much usable meat you can get from the basic material. Uh, improving just 1% of uh, in the yield is uh, already giving you, for a normal processing plant, a difference of 10, 15,000 euros a day, which can add up in, into millions a year. So this yield is such an important uh, KPI uh, and it's extremely affected by automation. So how does ABB help businesses so stay ahead? Uh, first, it's ABB understands the tough environment where our equipment has to work and mm -hmm. keep working on a reliable basis. Uh, Products have, for instance, like uh, conformal coating on the PCB, uh, coated uh, IGBTs, all to get a high uptime in this tough environment. Uh, we have this AI-driven condition monitoring systems where we can predict a failure before it occurs. So mm -hmm. the service can uh, take action before there's a standstill. Really important for the uptime. And we have uh, SYNRM motors with uh, with VSDs, which can be used in the cooling department, which is eating a huge part of the energy consumption and make a big saving over there. Okay, Lay, so let's wrap this up. What's the message for businesses that want to stay competitive? 
Well, uh, automation is a must. Uh, if you don't, you will not reach the performance that's needed uh, and lose money. Uh, then uh, measuring is better than guessing. So our AI-driven condition monitoring is uh, is really helping your uptime up. And uh, don't wait. The the longer you wait now, the far the most far you get behind. And when you get behind, it's difficult to catch up again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So, yeah. So. Uh, well, that's really an eye-opening. Thank you very much for joining me here today. Welcome. Thank you for tuning in. We hope this episode provided you with fresh insights and practical ideas for your business in the food and beverage industry. For more episodes and resources, follow us on social media or visit our landing page.